the basically there are a lot of uh, wind instruments on this and the brass section is the uh, and the drum beats really takes the kick and that is what gives the the effect you know totally and this that's a normal eastern band and the goan band you know that you have uh, length of the trumpet is so it's bigger than the original cornet that we had first and now when with the length of the trumpet the bell so when you blow into these instruments you get a broader sound like you have a flute which has just a small as like a bamboo stick. you see and it is short but here in a trumpet in a trombone then on the saxophone the instrument varies in length so when you blow into these such instruments you get a broader sound Yeah, both so, both our fathers played together, and that is how we took up to the instrument. And it is a in our family you know, that we play some music. You know, everyone is so immersed in music. You know, either they as children they start playing the violin or they start playing the uh, piano, and then gradually move to the wind instrument. So it's all in the blood, yeah. <laughs> so to say. And I was more, I learn more as a street player. I play for funeral processions. I play for wedding procession, then for uh, the church processions. So it is there where I created myself in improving myself. I think I got much of my playing on the streets. Yeah, my father was actually a fisherman. Okay, he spent most of his time in the sea, and when he, in his spare time he practiced his trumpet, and then he played with the bands like on the street itself, like you know we had in the the church bands. And then from uh, after, uh, then I asked him, I wanted to learn the trumpet. He trumpet. So he just told me, go. There's a big box with instruments. Take what you want and start blowing. So I just managed to take the trumpet. I start playing the trumpet. And then I uh, joined my father's band playing for the funerals first. It was my first show uh, playing with my dad was funeral. Okay. I grew up with my music playing my processions. And to little today, I keep it up because I know I've learned a lot playing on the streets with these processions, playing a uh, 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 classical music hymns, like you know the church or classical uh, music. And I was very, I feel very happy till today when I'm playing for the funeral band, my phone funeral band. You know, we're playing all classical pieces. It is not like you know you can't bluff. So till today, I just head 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 on to play for funerals. Those are like classical pieces, like the Goan traditional, traditional, very so traditional. They, like you call them medley, no? Just like a medley. So Mandos, they just follow one of the other the song for them. Like if you have like a um, Undir Maja, or, uh, Undir Mama, Undir Mama. Then you go to the other one, which is a, uh, outside by Goy. Yeah. yeah. But these are all uh, very traditional, and they have a lot of meaning in it. If you go deep down. It tells us about what the village is, what is happening, you know, all these kind of. You know, one day before the wedding, in in the East Indian tradition, you know, you have the uh, they call it the the Umratsi Pani. That is, you know, they bring the water from the well from the godparents' house. And that's the time we play this music and you dance on the procession and go on the road with water, and you're supposed to bring that water back home for the groom or the bride. You know, to take a shower. That's a tradition, you know, and it's carried over the years and it's followed all through. And the Goans have it as a rose. And the, yeah, Goans they also have the similar thing, but one day before the wedding they call it the rose, and where the they put coconut, coconut water. water. I mean, in Goa, I think every second house there is a musician. And from young they are put on to something or the other. So even the girls are encouraged to play the piano or even if some of them are not getting onto the wind, some on the drums, you know, as the, I mean, there's no gender bias, I think. Earlier we used to have only singers. And a lot of this comes from the Portuguese culture also, which we have, you know, a lot of that has still been left behind. There's a girl who's wearing a golden chain, whose daughter is she? Okay? And after that come, Kalyan Sankle Sonachi, Yi Pori Konachi. Kalyan Sankle Sonachi, Yi Pori Jochi. Yeah, name of a person. Name of a person. Then we have a traditional song. These are all the wedding songs. Again, a traditional song is there for that one day before the wedding, the Eastern culture. We have that Umra Zapani. 
going to the well for the water and then that water is filled in a small little uh, what do you call a vessel mm -hmm. traditional vessel which is then again carried on the head of a, a, a woman carries a girl a spinster girl carries it on the head and then from the well that water is brought to the house where it is utilized for the next day for her to have this bath from with this But now to, to, to teach my students now it becomes a difficult thing for them because what they are listening is more to pop music and Bollywood music so they are involved in that type of music. But like if it, when it comes to this uh, Gone music and Eastern music it is a uh, little difficult for them to, to pick up.